homies and homegirls, we got defending today. That's right. It is not an attacking day. It's a defending day. Let's go. Defending. What are we going to do? We're going to start. You're going to get you through the basics of 1v1 defending like that, and you will be a baller. You won't have to kill anybody. You won't have to, you won't have to do what Pepe's doing. You want to do what Sergio Ramos is doing? You're gonna know how to defend like a gentleman. Don't worry, I know, I know what you're thinking. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ah! When I go in and win the ball, I'm going to take it, I'm gonna win the ball, but I promise I'm not going to hit you, hurt you, or abuse you, okay? Ah! That's not my style, okay? Ah! Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> See you later. Gentle men, gentle women, gentle people defenders do not exist. If you want to defend well, learn to hunt the ball like a smart warrior. Exactly what Team Golaremi are going to teach you right now. The Gentleman Defender, brought to you by Golaremi.com. All right, guys, so in defending, first off, you guys, your stance is going to be important. Don't stand like this. You're not going to want to stand straight. It's not basketball, so we're not going to get down like this. On the shot clock, they have missed it. Jones! The dunk of the day. All right. We don't want to get set like this sideways if we're trying to push them this way because if they cut this way, I have to turn my, and that is a horrible position to be in. You never, ever want to lose sight of the ball as a defender. Be on our toes at an angle, ready that if they come across like this, that we can shift, okay? So if we add an attacking player in right now, obviously as a defender, one of the first things you need to know is what foot is this guy? Where does he want to go? Because if we're in front of goal and he wants to shoot, he probably wants to go to his dominant foot. And so me setting up like this means he's happy because he's just going to go there. And that's not what we want. We want to, as defenders, try and control as much as we possibly can. So I would set up like this. Now, if he starts to make a move, make your move wherever you start to go, you can immediately come in here like this. All right. So you've got that covered. What if you have a very skillful attacking player in front of you who is fine going left and right and doing things. So if he's just doing all this step work and stuff like this, don't think that now, oh, that's clearly, he's gone. All right? Usually speaking, you want to contain in these sort of situations. There's no reason for you to dive in or rush in like that. So now do that stuff, all right? Contain, I've contained, I'm almost even leaning back all the time he's doing that, that's fine. I don't care that the, the crowd shouts and everybody and all that stuff, but my team got back. You can't just contain forever. You have to figure out when the best time is going to be for you to step in. And the best time normally to step in is when he's trying to make his move, all right? So if he comes forward, do a step over. If he does a step over and pushes it out one way, push it one way, I need to immediately then, all right? That's my dive. And notice that I didn't go immediately for the ball. One of the golden rules is that you want to put your body between the defender or the attacker and the ball. So when he makes that move out, instead of me trying to reach in here like this with my foot, which is possible, you are going to do this as a defender, but more importantly, I want to take possession of the ball. So when he puts it out like this, I want to use my body and my arm, all this stuff. Now I have possession of the ball. I can look up, I can pass it back, I can go here, all that stuff, or I can even turn now that I have the ball myself, all right? But what's gonna happen if there are two attacking players? The goal's behind me. I can't just think, oh, I should go mark him. No. Nope. No, you gotta first cover the ball. If I see that, I think, ah, oh, he's right footed, he's not gonna shoot, all right? So as I see that happening, go ahead, maybe I just start to drop like this, okay? And like that. And all of a sudden, I've contained one second more because all you're trying to do is buy time. It's probably very unlikely that you're going to win the ball in a 2v1 situation with two good players. What happens if these guys try to play a normal 1-2? It happens, boom. All right. But as a defender, you guys are going to have to know some things that pros kind of understand and know. So if they play a give and go, they play it now. Now, most people are going to say, oh, that's obstruction and all of this stuff. Well, you guys, you're going to be able to get away with it. Is that true or is that not true? That's true. It's true. Yes, you guys. So no, you're not going to be able to grab. Maybe sometimes the referee will call a foul on you because of this, but it's something that you can use. And here we'll give you one other thing that you can do. If there's nobody behind you and you are the last of the last and you really just think I've got to try and figure it out, all right? And they play this one, two. So if he starts to play the ball, I can really just lunge at him with everything. I can come with my two feet. I can come here 
like this. And the reason for that is if I'm the last man, I also want to step. He's trying to get behind me. Now, guys, this is a last resort, last resort to just come in and fly. No, no coach is going to ever tell you to do that. But if you're alone, you might as well, right? That's right, people. That's the vid. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't dive in. We told you. Don't, don't dive in. Dive in to subscribing. See you later. GoldArmy.com. way to be a good defender is to just kick the ball out whenever it comes near. Clear! Let everybody know what you're doing and let everybody know why. <laughs>